everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, the last couple of weeks have been kind of crazy for me. We actually reached a thousand subscribers, so I just wanted to sit down and film a little like painting session for you guys. I'm going to be painting in Procreate with my iPad and I just made a little sketch of this girl sitting at her desk with a little kitty and just watching the clouds outside. It's kind of like a lo-fi vibe um, if you're familiar with the kind of illustrations. I'm not going to talk too much about the painting itself, I just kind of wanted to chit chat to you guys about some stuff and just let it kind of run in the background. So first and foremost I wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support and kindness on the last video. I posted a kind of more minimalistic and simple um, September setup in case you haven't seen it. And I don't know why it kind of blew up on me, but uh, we reached a thousand subscribers way, way faster than I thought we would. Um, I never really set goals for myself to like reach a certain sub count or reach a number of views or anything like that. I just kind of make videos because they're fun to do and I like to make content for you guys. Um, but yeah, it was really exciting. I'm really happy that you liked the video so much and yeah, I hope you enjoy my future content as well. Um, I wanted to create more kind of like chit chatty content in the future as well, kind of like this one, more um, art related stuff as well because I do enjoy painting a lot. So yeah, keep on the lookout for those videos. Um, I recently also got some Argent Olive Acrylograph pens, so I'm planning to do a review of those and I'm also probably going to use them in my next setup. So yeah, very exciting stuff. Um, thank you guys so much and it really means a lot to me. So for those of you who don't know me yet, um, hi, <laughs> I'm Christine or Tina. Tina is kind of like my nickname and I'm from Germany. I'm turning 24 in September. I'm currently studying graphic design. I'm in my last semester of my bachelor's degree, but I will probably also do a master's degree afterwards. So for bullet journaling, I started in 2018. I was super inspired by Amanda Rachel Lee. I'm sure all of you know her. Um, she does great content and I just thought her stuff was so pretty. So I wanted to recreate it for myself and start bullet journaling. And for the first couple of months, I just kind of copied what she did. And then slowly I started making my own spreads and own themes. And it was so much fun that I just continued for three more years. And I've always been more creative, I always loved painting and drawing, so it was a great outlet for me to just kind of, you know, be creative and also plan my day at the same time. So then for my YouTube kind of journey, I guess, um, some friends of mine told me that I should start a YouTube channel. Um, and I always thought about it because I was kind of the person who pretty much just grew up on YouTube. I've always watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, I'm sure some of you can relate, and it always seemed like a lot of fun to kind of build your own community and your own little space. So one day I just kind of did it. Um, I posted my first bullet journaling video in March of 2019, so two years ago, and I was super nervous about it of course, and it was a lot of work. Um, I kind of taught myself how to like edit videos and stuff, but obviously there's a lot of tutorials and stuff like that as well. So you don't really need to be a professional or anything like that to start your own YouTube channel. You also don't need like the best camera equipment or anything like that. You could literally just start making videos with uh, like your phone camera. So yeah, I also just wanted to encourage you guys, if you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, just do it. You just have to start. It really doesn't have to be professional, like you're not going to get a lot of views at first. And it can be quite frustrating, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. But yeah, I am so glad that I did. Um, I can't believe that we're actually at a thousand subscribers, like it kind of boggles my mind. Even though it's like a very small <laughs> sub count compared to other channels, but to me it's very special and I'm really happy about it. And in general, my goal is always just to make people happy, like just to give you guys a space to have some inspiration, um, plan along with me, or just watch if you're looking for just an escape from your daily life. I personally really love just watching videos, um, kind of running in the background when I'm doing other stuff, or just relaxing and watching a painting video or a plan with me video. I just think they're so chill. So yeah, I hope 
uh, my videos give you that kind of feeling. Um, I've had a lot of really positive and really kind comments. I don't think I've ever really had like a hate comment. I think usually um, the more subscribers you have or the more uh, views you get, the higher the chances that you're gonna get some negativity. But um, I've been really lucky so far. So thank you guys so much for being so you know positive and kind in the comments. I've really only ever had really nice comments. So thank you. Also for kind of the future plans of my channel, I definitely want to incorporate more um, art related content as well, kind of like this one, more kind of sketching sessions uh, in between my bullet journaling videos because they're not as much like effort to make <laughs> and I think it would be fun to just kind of sit down and chat with you guys. So if you have any other ideas for content I should create for you guys, definitely leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you think. And yeah, I am definitely also going to continue making my monthly uh, bullet journaling videos. And like I said, I'm also going to be doing like little stationary reviews every now and then when I get some new stuff. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy my future content. And again, thank you guys so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot to me. Alright, so I think that concludes my little rambling session for today. Um, I can't really think of any more topics, but if you want me to talk about some other stuff, definitely leave me a comment and I can do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of the painting session. I'll just talk a little bit more at the end of the video. So yeah, enjoy and I'll see you later.
And yeah, so this is the finished illustration. Um, it took me quite a long time, I think about seven hours almost, because I did a lot of sketching in the first phase, uh, which I didn't show in this video because I didn't want to bore you guys too much. But yeah, I had a lot of difficulties with the pose and stuff. I'm not really good at coming up with poses, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's quite a nice uh, mood, I guess. And yeah, I hope you guys like it too. And yeah, definitely let me know if you want to see more content like this. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, definitely consider joining our little growing community. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very chatty video. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!